Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I think this is the latest I have done my end of the month videos yet. <laughs> so sorry about that. Life has been too busy. So I'm going to show my coloring book and supplies haul. Mostly coloring books. A few supplies. Now I do have some additional supplies that I'm not going to show this month because I haven't shown them on the channel yet. So don't want to include them in my end of the month video. All right. So let's look at the books first. Then we'll look at a couple of supplies that I bought. All right. The first set of books are these. I had a part one and a part two. Part two I had recorded. Part one has been up on the channel for a while. Part two I recorded. For some reason the flip through of fairies got cut off and I haven't gotten around to recording it again. So I'm going to put David Woodruff books on the side so I can re-record that. I keep forgetting. But the books in this, this is all by Sirius uh, Publishing. Uh, and I know that they are under another publishing company also. So these are definitely not new books. These have been out there for quite a while. But we have fairies, color by numbers. And again, I'm going to do a complete flip of this book yet. As well as relaxing, which I do have a complete flip through. But again, I have to finish it. All right, now the three that were in part one were by was by various um, artists. This one is Flowers, Color It By Numbers, and this was by, said Elsie Lennox. Just beautiful flowers in here. And then, as usual, they do have the colored versions in the front. And the back, the thing that is so nice about these books is we have this fold-out palette. So you can always see the palette when you are coloring a page. Would be nice if all color by number books did that. Although a lot of the color by number books do have the palette over here. Um, but these are single-sided so you don't color over the palette. All right, so we have again flowers color by numbers. We have the birds and butterflies color by numbers. Again, beautiful, beautiful book. I'm a little put off by these because of the very thin lines. So I don't know. They are all on nice paper. It's not Amazon paper. So maybe alcohol marker wouldn't spread quite so much on these. So I'm going to have to try one. And that one is by Arpad Olby and Sarah Storino. And then finally, the Botanical Garden, the Royal Botanical Gardens. Uh, wonderful flowers, color by numbers. And I'm sure many of you have heard of the Botanical Gardens and all the gorgeous flowers. Again, beautiful, beautiful book with the finished pictures in the front. So bright and colorful. All right, so let me get a stack going up here. Then by Color Questopia, we have their Easter book that came out. As usual, this is their color by number mosaics. And sneak peek on one I did. <laughs> so I'll put that to the side. Then another Circulism art book. Happy Easter. I have not done one out of here yet. Um, now that Easter is past, now they're not all Easter looking, so I could still do one out of here. So I'm going to put this book on the side because I love circulism art books. They're on this premium paper, which is so nice to color on with alcohol markers. So, like for instance, this one back here, well, even that one, you know, it's an egg shape, but it's not necessarily Easter. But there's one of a, like a hedgehog, or even this one isn't necessarily Easter. So here's the hedgehog. So, you know, it doesn't have to be Easter. So I'm going to keep that one up. We do have Promises of God in Color. This is Inspirational Quotes by Sally Berry. 
So it's all inspirational quotes with kind of zentangly type of pictures on some of them. Here it's just all. So usually we have um, a proverb and then a picture to color. Sometimes they're mostly, you know, the proverb and then just small pictures, but for Christians and even, you know, others, cute, cute book. Then Color Questopia came out with another one. This is called Spring Patterns. Another cute one. We actually jumped from spring right into summer today. It is in the low 90s and very humid. Yeah, by the end of the week, we're supposed to be in the 60s. Mm -hmm. So I guess it is still spring. <laughs> Mother Nature doesn't know what she wants. All right, from Alice Mills, she came out with another new book and it is in both formats, the mosaic color by number version and the cross stitch style color by number version and I did a few pictures in each um, to show you the difference uh, between the two which again I'll show in my end of the month what I colored video. We have a Creative Haven Wildflowers coloring book. This is by Jessica Mazurkowitz. Uh, relatively new. It's been out for mm, maybe a few months. Um, very detailed as usual. I would like to maybe try my ink tints or something in here. <laughs> we shall see. Hannah Lynn came out with another book. This is her early works. Uh, collection and she made them into grayscale. You know how much I love grayscale. So she has two versions of each picture. One is harder, very light grayscale. One is the darker one, which is easier to color, especially with alcohol markers. So I much prefer this version <laughs> than that version. Yeah, but so, so cute. Love Hannah Lynn. And I have flip throughs of all of these books on my channel with links to each and every one of them uh, down in the description of each video. Kirby Rosanis' new book, Mythic World. So pretty. Right now, I'm actually coloring out of World Within Worlds. I know. Shock, shock. So, I do actually want to color something out of here. Love it. A.J. Bailey has um, volume one of 50 geometric floral mandala patterns. So, sounds like he may be coming out with another one. So I did color one in here. Love this book, as you can imagine, I would. And such and such. Deva came out with another mosaic art book. You know I love this series. This is my favorite of his, um, his series. This is a three by three millimeter squares. I did color a couple out of here. So you just, you know, color in that, the little boxes. And of course, I use the cross stitch method or X method. So I will show you those completed uh, pictures in my next video. I'll try to remember to put this video up first be show, before I show you what I colored for the month. All right, Sonia Rye. Um, under Coloring Books 101 sent me a few books. Now, I thought there was a third one. Maybe I'm coloring out of it right now. Um, anyhow, because I thought there were three Mother's Day. Hmm. Uh, anyhow, this is the Mystery Mother's Day book. There are 30 designs because she always includes a gray version and then a black. So this is the black 
and then this is the gray. And I know a number of you kind of are of the opinion that I am is I wish you wouldn't put both versions in one book. Um, but when I talked with her, she said that a lot of people wanted this. So she's trying to accommodate <laughs> Uh, the individuals who buy her books and I said well maybe you could put out two separate books and uh, she was afraid that uh, Amazon would look at it as forgot how she put it not scamming but um, I don't know I forgot how she put it um, but uh, you know a lot of people do do that you put out two different versions of books for instance I know such and such Deva puts out a color by number version and a non-color by number version. So maybe in the future we'll see thinner books because these do take up, you know, more room on your bookcase or bookshelf. So then also for Mother's Day, she has a dot to dot. I haven't done dot to dot in ages. Um, so yeah, you do the dot to dots and then can color it in. She does indicate how many dots are in each picture. So again, gray version and the black version. So we have darker numbers, lighter numbers, and dots. Then we have new book by Camelia and Jokova, 50 diminutive countryside scenes. These are so cute and not too detailed. You can do some really neat backgrounds on these pictures. So if I want to play around maybe with my Neocolor 2s, um, ink tints, you know, something like that. This would be a, a good book to do that in. Or maybe my Pan Pastels. Hello Country. This is by Joshua Dunbar. He used to work um, with Jade Summer and now he has ventured out on his own. So this is a Hello Country Spring book. Simpler pictures. Isn't that pretty? Definitely a spring picture. Love it. So many cute, cute pictures in here. And then this is a coloring book haul that I showed all in one video. Um, and these are Jennifer Rowling books. So this is the Dazzling Animals. And I did do a couple in here. So it's the 4x4 four four millimeter squares. They're just a tad bigger than say such and such Davis or Belba families thicker black line so they're a little bit easier then also mystery mosaic dogs and wild animals so same type of thing I didn't color out of this one yet pocket monsters so in other words Pokemon <laughs> this is book one and these are dots to color in and they're big dots big circles so they're not those really teeny little dots to color in so we have the pokemon all in alphabetical or no we don't i lied they're not in alphabetical order that was a different book but yeah big circles and of course the color palette's always on the back cover and it's a standard 25 color palette i believe not that one um yes okay so then we have this is husky wanna fly and the publisher is bright ideas paper this is also um jennifer rowling um and husky wanna fly are both under bright ideas paper publishing uh so husky wanna fly is just uh, another company under them this one is favorite characters again on mosaics this is on the premium paper though so here is your color palette so here you see 12 colors so are they the same no they're not they're different for every page but I would like to do one in here because I love the premium paper. So this is another book I'm going to put on the side to try. 
And finally, my last book uh, uh, for last month is Color Quest, another um, book. This has been out for quite a while. I just didn't purchase it until last month. This one is called Winter Wonders. So yes, it's been out for a while. <laughs> and these are different shapes. Now you can't see it right here because they're very faint, but you do have different shapes. There's like diamonds, triangles, here are some hexagons, and then they have a color palette on each page with the shape for that particular picture. So we have the triangles, bunch of triangles. Here we have the squares. There's some um, hexagons. Here's circles, squares. Where's the one with the with the diamonds? Because yeah, they're they're sideways kind of squares. <laughs> Hexagon, where is? I wanted to see how they showed it down in the. Okay, so the diamonds are still shown as squares. They're, I guess, squares, but they're turned sideways. <laughs> so here, this way, they do look like diamonds. All right, now the few supplies that I bought. I wanted to try this. It is a Krylon sealer. It's called Glitter Blast, and it is clear. They, they do have different colors. Um, I had seen somebody else. Who was it? Oh, my gosh. On a different uh, diamond painting channel, use this to seal her diamond paintings, and she said it worked really good. So I thought what we would do in a video... Uh, one of the many that I have rolling around in my head <laughs> is try the sealer on a smaller diamond painting that I have. Let's see if it takes away any of the the shine, the shimmer effect of the diamonds um, with the spray and then without. And we'll see if this truly works. Would be great. Um, much, much easier to spray a sealer on than have to brush stuff on. Um, so we're going to try that out. Um, another thing that I bought was I bought some new lights. I didn't like the lighting system that I had way up above. It was kind of a pain. I had a finagle them to kind of fit up there. I bought two of these and I was looking for something that was like magnetic because my whole entire desk is all metal with the, the riser up above. So I bought two of these and I have them on the sides. I was hoping it wouldn't be quite so shadowy, but it is yet. So I'm going to do some playing around a little bit more with the positioning of where I have them and they're on like goosenecks so I can, you know, change the angle. Um, and the brightness and whatnot. Um, but yeah, through you guys, um, with watching the ads, with buying through my Amazon links, it is because of you that I could purchase this. So I thank you so very, very much for doing both of those things to allow me to buy things like this to hopefully make my recording videos better for you and also bring you content, of course. So got that. And then one more thing that I purchased. This is actually a makeup case. I, um, If you watched a previous video of mine where I showed the Art & Fly uh, alcohol markers that I purchased, uh, Art & Fly, I really I love those markers. Um, they are a little bit more expensive than your budget-friendly yeah, see, sticks a little bit because of this. I don't know if I am going to cut these out or not because they kind of stick right there. And the reason it does for me is because the refill boxes are a little high for this case. What I wanted, see, I just, I don't need this. I don't care if it flops open all the way. <laughs> What I wanted was a storage system for the refills. I do have a number of refills here, um, and it indicates on the front what color it is. So I'm just going to make labels to put on the top. I tried writing it on there, but 
it doesn't stay on real well on this shiny cardboard you know it's coated so I think I'm just going to quickly print out labels for the top because one refill is going to last a long time again in the art and fly swatching video I showed these refills um and I am going to be doing a video, again, another one whirling around in my head, how to fit refill alcohol markers. And I have a number of different sets of refills, the Art and Fly, the Copic refills, and Spectrum Noir refills. There are also Chameleon refills, and I have a couple of those. That's right, I could get those out. And then I know there's others. Uh, Blick, I know, has refills for their alcohol markers. I don't have any of theirs I know surprise surprise <laughs> but they do have brush alcohol markers with refills also um, so yeah I thought I wanted a smaller makeup case I have a larger one not as pretty as this but it's just a plain purple of course uh, for the spectrum noir bottles those take up a lot more room so I have a bigger makeup case these boxes are so small I knew a smaller case would fit quite a few and as you can see I have a lot of room left and I can even put some bigger things over here so yeah this actually works really really well now if you have you know some other type of refills or something small you would like to organize in this um this works really good. I got all of this on Amazon. Um, because I don't do reviews of any of this, there aren't any links. So in this particular video, I'll leave links to the supplies um, that I purchased. I usually do that with my end of the month videos in case anybody else is interested in trying any of this out. So yeah, I think I'm just going to, you know, cut off this these straps because I just I don't know they're just a pain for me <laughs> but as you can see the boxes are a little bit tall for this too and that's why um, when it gets to that point it has a little bit of a problem um, but it does work matter of fact that stretches down so I mean it does fit well enough for me anyhow um, but yeah, because of that strap, oh, I'll see there, it zipped up just fine. And now over here, I'll have a problem. Yeah, I hate those straps. Oh, well, I'll, I'll get it on my own. But anyhow, um, so those three things are supplies that I bought. Again, I did buy a few other supplies. Um, I have a few swatching videos coming up. Um, yes, bought them in April. I'll be showing them this month, so you'll see them in uh, the end of May's uh, videos. If I get around to swatching, to creating the videos anyhow. Um, yeah, no guarantee. So, again, those are my supplies. And these are the books for the month of April. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I all got this past month. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys. Thank you.